Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to The Wine Rookie. I'm your Wine Rookie host, Paul, and today we are trying yet again another Trader Joe's pick. This is a 2020 vintage Grand Reserve Malbec from Atlas Peak. Atlas Peak is the highest AVA in the Napa Valley, and its westward orientation gives it a lot of direct sunlight. Its porous and volcanic soil, though, allows the soil to cool down quickly. Atlas Peak is known for their Cabernets and Bordeaux-style blends, one of those grapes that goes into Bordeaux-style blends are Malbecs. Let's take a closer look at Trader Joe's Grand Reserve Malbec for ourselves. the Atlas Peak Malbec poured out. Let's go ahead and take a look at the details. First, the color. I can already tell you this is a really deep, rich color. It lends itself to the purple side of the red varieties. Gorgeous in the glass. Let's go ahead and give it a nose. This comes off a little smoky with a nice like blueberry, dark fruit, uh, a little plum in there, and some pipe tobacco. Let's go ahead and give it a taste and see what it tastes like. That is a luscious red. Wow. Again, the blueberries hits really forward here. If I've ever had a wine that tasted like grapes, this is it. It's got like this nice kind of Concord grape jamminess to it. And uh, I'm also getting a little more plum here, like a black plum. There's a longer finish here than I've had on a lot of Malbecs. And that's probably more of an expression of the terroir and its growing region. Again, this is Atlas Peak Napa, not uh, Mendoza, Argentina. So a lot different expression on a Malbec. Um, I get notes here of cocoa on the finish and a bit of vanilla. Quite delicious. Now it's a fruitier Malbec and it might be a little more uh, interesting to pair. Maybe uh, something hearty vegetables, think Brussels sprouts uh, with bacon or without bacon. Uh, squash, this would be great this time of the year. Um, we're heading into squash season, winter squash season. So go ahead and pair it with some squash uh, or some bacony Brussels sprouts. Uh, and for a cheese, maybe, you know, you could do one of those trickier cheeses like a gorgonzola. This would be nice with the blue cheese. I think it would really uh, pair very nicely. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe before you head out. Leave a comment below if you have any. And I will see you next time for the next episode. Cheers, everybody.